I did not go to bed till late last night. I was like getting everybody's gifts set, but woke up, went and got donuts. So pretty standard morning in my life. <laughs> um, Actually, we had kind of like gone our separate ways last night after we got back to the hotel and she texted me to come out in the hallway and she's like, I just miss being next to you. She is just the best part of me and like I said, this is the easiest decision I've made in my life. She's my best friend and there was never a, never a doubt in my mind. So. It felt pretty normal. I think I just started getting nervous like a few minutes ago, honestly. So. So many people have told me that it goes by so fast. I'm hoping I can take it on, but I'm gonna be emotional, so. She is a fitness fanatic, is the best way to put it, and she's got north of 50 pairs of Nikes alone, and she's like, I don't want to wear heels, like, I love Nikes, and this would be something really cool, you know, we can include it for everyone else. I will be sweating in about two and a half minutes in here, so. <laughs> So if there's an old lady that needs to sneeze, I'm going to say no. <laughs> say if you re it. <laughs> Couldn't imagine a more ragtag group of assholes to celebrate my wedding with, so cheers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Said Cal, just a friendly reminder that every minute of our new life together brings new and exciting adventures. It says, it says, see your slim thick ass at that altar, boy, is the last <laughs> line. She knows how to make me laugh, that's for sure. I just want to like see him. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long like hours, so. I just love the way he gets just happy around his good friends and his family. That's like my favorite thing. I love you so much, babe. I can't, can't wait to marry you. Hi. <laughs> wow. Looks fabulous. Yeah? Yeah. I like your shoes. Yeah, fabulous. They're a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you awesome. You look so man. handsome. I love you. I love you too. I think the walk down the aisle is going to be pretty special. Obviously, I get to walk with my dad, and he's like my best friend in the whole world. And then I get to see Calvin, and that's exciting, just kind of like going into it, knowing that, you know, we get to get married, so. We 
are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Jessica and Calvin. You have all come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support in their marriage, and to allow Jessica and Calvin to start their married life together, surrounded by the people most important to them. Okay. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Jessica and Calvin have prepared their own vows. Jessica. As indecisive as I am, choosing you is the one decision I'd make a million times over because absolutely nothing feels more right than waking up day after day and choosing you over and over again. So above all else, I vow to you and to myself that each day from this day forward, I will choose your love and this marriage because I can't imagine anything more perfect than to love you and to be loved by you for the rest of my life. Jessica, you are my person. You are the light in my life. You make my heart smile when nothing seems right. You make me the best version of me I could possibly imagine. I promise to love you forever, to keep you close to my heart, to cherish our friendship, and never stop trying to make you laugh. You are my bead my person, yes. my partner in crime, and my world, and I promise to love you until death do us part. May I have the rings, please? By the power of your love and commitment and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss each other. I present to you the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Calvin and Jessica Hamilton. Just so awesome to be around. I, and every time somebody meets him, they'll always like come up to me and be like, "Oh my God, I love Calvin. He's so great." And like, I know. <laughs> I did. That was kind of creepy. I'll not lie. Jess holds friendship very close. I mean, she would get in a bar fight if someone threw a drink in her friend's face. Like, she is just a fiery, passionate person that sticks to her morals and the things that she cares about and the people that she cares about. She always seems to know the right things to do, the right things to say. Just something about her personality that really makes me the best person that I can be. He's just such a sweetheart. He does so much for me and even my friends. Like, he would do anything for them. And it's just, I don't know, you know when you get close to him, you're just like his family. Every day, he continued to show me how much she meant to me. I don't know if there was ever one moment, but it was something where I just knew, you know, that she was it. Careful with the butt. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with my beard and my butt. That'll get you. saw their relationship instantly. With that being said, to Calvin and Jess, a very long and love-filled life. Thank you all for being here. Here's to many, many long years of loving and happy family memories. Cheers. Calvin, thank you for being the light in her life during her darkest times, for encouraging her to not only have big dreams, but to make them happen. And lastly, thank you for loving every single part of this amazing person. So let's all raise a glass to a life of love that will be nothing short of legendary. I hope your love, laughter, and smiles will never stop filling up an entire hall like this. Most of to Calvin, my younger, older brother, and Jessica, the sister I never had. And to your love, which I know will last forever.
But um, I love you both, and uh, I wish only the best. And I'm happy to see what the years are going to bring us. And I'm glad that you guys allow me in your life. So thank you. <laughs> what they have is rare, and I'm so happy for the both of them. Calvin, my aunt truly loved you, and I know she wouldn't have wanted anyone else to take care of her daughter. Cheers to Jess and Cal. As Zora Hurston said, love makes your soul crawl out from its hiding place. Burke and Cal are their truest and best versions of themselves when they are together. So please, raise a glass for the last time and toast to Jessica and Calvin. I wish you endless years of love, silliness, and partnership. Um, Cal was a software engineer, played video games all the time. Uh, we always talked about football and, you know, a bunch of other nerdy stuff. Um, and Jeff, or Jess, Jesus Christ, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Crushed it. Um, <laughs> <laughs>